First of all, let's have a look at what our introduction will look like when finished. We are going to keep the introduction nice and simple and just use four instruments. On track one, we will add a bass sample and copy it so that it plays for 16 bars. On track two, we will add a drum sample. But as we want to create a gradual build-up, we won't add it right at the start of our piece, but rather four bars later, at bar five. Then copy it all the way to the end. On track three, we will add some keys. Once again, to create that gradual build-up, we will add them four bars after the drums start at bar nine. Then copy them all the way to the end. Finally, we will add a vocal or singing sample. Can you work out at which bar number we will add the vocal? Well done. Four bars after the keys come in at bar number 13. Once again, copy this to the end of the introduction. Let's now go through that slowly, step by step. When you load the program, the first thing you will see is this welcome page, giving you some options. What we're looking for is to create a new project. So make sure that circle is blue and then click OK. Firstly, make sure the Sound Pools tab is selected. Now decide which style of music you are going to use for your song. There are 10 choices from Chill Out at the top to techno at the bottom. Use the scroll bar to see them all. Having decided upon your style, click on it. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose dubstep. In the next column, we can see all the instruments and sound samples available to use. These will vary slightly, so if you find that the video asks you to find a vocal and there are none in your style of music, replace it with something else that you like. Every style has bass, so let's start there. As you learned in the first lesson, to hear a sample or instrument, just click on it once with the mouse. The sounds will keep playing until you click on it again or click on another. Don't forget to use the scroll bar on the far right hand side to discover more sounds. Don't just choose the first one you like, but spend some time listening and comparing them. Remember, this is the introduction to your song, and we want to keep it simple. When you've decided which bass sample to use, hold down the left mouse button and drag it to track one on the top left part of the screen, starting at bar number one. The lengths of the samples may be different to the one demonstrated in this video. Don't worry if they are longer or shorter, as it's easy to change it. By clicking and holding on the bottom right hand corner of your sample, you can lengthen and shorten the sound. Have a try now. Now lengthen the sound all the way to the right hand edge of the screen. Do this slowly, as if you go too quick, you will go too far. If this happens, don't worry, just drag it back to bar number 17. Now press the F4 key on your computer keyboard. This will allow you to see everything you have done so far. Click on the return to start button and press the triangle to play your song so far. If you don't like what you hear, click on the sample, press the delete key on the computer keyboard and choose another one. Once again, don't forget to use the scroll bar on the far right hand side to discover more sounds and spend some time listening and comparing. When you're happy, save your work, then go to the instruments and click on drums. Take your time choosing the right drum beat for you. When you've decided which drum sample to use, hold down the left mouse button and drag it to track two. But instead of putting it at bar one, drag it to bar five. This means the bass will play on its own for four bars and then the drums will come in creating the effect that we want in our introduction, a slow build-up. Now lengthen the sound all the way 
to the right hand edge of the screen. Click on the return to start button and press the triangle to play your song so far. How do the drums and bass sound like together? If you don't like what you hear, click on the sample, press the delete key on the computer keyboard and choose another one. Once again, don't forget to use the scroll bar on the far right hand side to discover more sounds. If you like what you hear, save your work, then go back down to instruments and click on keys. When you've decided which key sample to use, hold down the left mouse button and drag it to track 3, dropping it at bar 9, four bars after the drum started. Now lengthen the sample all the way to the right hand edge of the screen. Click on the return to start button and press the triangle to play your song so far. How do the drums, bass and keys sound like together? If you're happy, save your work, then go back down to the instruments and click on vocals. Remember, if your style does not have any vocals or none that you like, choose another instrument. Find a vocal sample you like and drag it to track 4, dropping it at bar 13, four bars after the keys started. Now lengthen the sample all the way to the right hand edge of the screen. Click on the return to start button and press the triangle to play your introduction. How do the drums, bass, keys and vocals sound like together? If you're happy, save your work. Congratulations! You've completed the introduction to your song. If you'd like to, ask the teacher to play your song to the whole class. In the next lesson, we will learn how to create a really catchy chorus, the most important part of any song.